Hello and welcome back to uh, part two of how to broadcast live over Radionomy using Sam Broadcaster. If you haven't seen part one, click the annotation now, take you straight there. Um, so, carrying on from here, you've, you've set up all your encoder. Um, what does this mean? How do you start? Well, this is the encoder I've just, I've just made uh, in the past tutorial. Uh, before you click start, you want to click play to start, but before you start, make sure you've got something playing. I'm just going to take this song. It's simply just a drag and drop, just drop straight in, click play. You'll see the level goes up, you should be able to hear it as well. Good bit of meatloaf. Uh, so now you've got something playing, click your encoder. Uh, you want to click play to start. Obviously this won't connect, obviously I've just made up the details. But click play to start and it should say connected and then one second, two second, three second the time that you've been streaming so with that going um, yeah that's pretty much it, it's working you go over um, with some broadcaster you've got these three different running types really, you've got manual DJ Auto DJ and Play Q. I personally use Play Q. Um, it's the easiest, simplest, really, and you get to control what you play. Except it plays it after each song for you. Because with manual DJ, it won't automatically play the less next song. You've got to press play. And with Auto DJ, I believe it chooses the songs for you, which I don't like. So Play Q. You can play songs here. Um, for example, if you wanted to play this song next, just put Q bottom. And while this song is playing, watch this here. When this gets close to finishing, it'll automatically take this song, put it into deck B, and play it when this is nearly finished. And it should smoothly transfer it across. As you can see, it's taken it up, it's played it, and it's smoothly going from one into the other. And that's playing now, and this is done. So you can you can cue the next however many songs you want to cue. It's up to you. Cue the cue them all, and these all play after each one. Um, so let's say when this gets close to finishing, it'll take the police from here and put it into this. As you can see, it just it's just done that. And when this gets close to finishing, it'll smoothly go from that into this. That's how that works. So, really well. Great piece of software. Uh, what if you wanted to talk while you're on your radio? All you want to do is go to here, Vice Effects, turn your mic on, just by clicking that. Really cool feature is press to talk. When you click this, it reduces, watch the levels here, it reduces this down really low, so it's still hearable. But you can hear your voice. So, that's really good. Um, this is all going out live while your encoder's playing. Um, and it's brilliant, really. Uh, let go and it'll let your music go back up. As you can see there. Lock to talk, just I'll see what, what it says on the tin. You don't have to keep pressing, you just lock and it keeps your music down here and you can talk on your radio. Um, mic off, that's gone, your music goes back up. So, yeah, that's that, really. Useful clock down here, master volume, sound effects. These aren't that good, to be honest with you. I don't use them. Um, it's what it's what they are, really. Just record scratch and phone ring. They aren't that good. I don't really use them. Um, this is a call just to finish here. ETA. It's just when this will play. Um, so if someone was to ask, like email you asking, you know, when's Buddy Holly coming on? You can say that'll be about uh, ten, pa ten past two, and you, you know, it tells you that here, compared comparing the duration of the two songs that are about to play. So that's really cool. Um, so that's about it, really, and you're broadcasting live. So Sorrent, I hope that helped. Um, if not, just put, message me. If anyone's got any questions, message me, comment. Um, 
and yeah, subscribe for much more to come. Thank you.